Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to install Mozilla Firefox on Windows 7 machine and above. That includes Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and of course Windows 10. So without any further ado, let's get started. So go ahead and click on your start icon and if you have Google Chrome installed then you can basically say Google Chrome uh, and, and go ahead and open that browser up. Uh, um, also, let's say if you uh, so go ahead and click on that if you have Chrome installed, or if you want to use traditional Microsoft browser, which is uh, Microsoft Edge, uh, then you can also do that right there. Go ahead and click on that, and once you click on that, uh, you know it's going to open, uh, you know your your <coughs> Microsoft Edge as well as as well as Google Chrome. Now, uh, so first, what we're going to do this is. Uh, Let's go ahead and click on uh, the icon above and make sure we are actually on google.com uh, or you are, you know, if your landing page is here, that's great. If not, then let's go ahead and get there by typing google.com up top in your tab or just type in google.com there. Okay, so once we get there, we're going to search for a website called 98, N -I -N -I -T -E dot com. All right, we're gonna do that there, and we can. We're also gonna do this on the edge, but on the on the web browser top bar, we're gonna type in that website name directly, n i n i t e dot com, and go ahead and hit enter. Now I'm doing this on two different browsers, so you know uh, you, if you're an advanced user or standard user with different browsers, that you can understand this in very detail. All right, so uh, once you, as you see on Google, it brings up this i nine eight install package thing. So you click on that, and it basically what it's gonna do is bring you. To this page, which is same as, you know, same as uh, as you see on the edge. So basically, what we're gonna do here is come down here and click on Firefox icon. So again, it's loaded up on my Google Chrome here, and go ahead and click on the Firefox icon. I'm gonna do that on the both browser, but you don't need to do it on both. Just do it on one, and go ahead and click get your nine eight. I'm also gonna do that here on my you know Google Chrome. Now, whenever you, uh, whenever you do that through uh, Edge, it shows a different kind of icon than it does in, you know, kind of Google Chrome. And I will show you what I'm talking about here in a second. As you see, it's showing, you know, run, save, and cancel option here. Now, if you're using Edge, go ahead and click on run. Uh, and also, if you're using, you know, Chrome, uh, it's it's not it's not that different. But as soon as it shows up here, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on run here on on the Edge browser while um, while you know the Google Chrome is still trying to download that. Also, if it does not uh, you know download that, go ahead and click on the retry the download icon, and that would also you know kind of get get that process going there. Um, so it looks like uh, Chrome is taking a while, but as you as you see, Edge is already running the security scans and making sure there's no viruses or anything on that installer. So once 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 that gets started, uh, then we'll, uh, I'll show you what the screen looks like. All right, so as you guys can see that uh, this is this is how the installer looks like when you click on that run icon. Now, if you're using Google Chrome, this is how that installer would look like at the bottom of the screen, as you guys see, 9i uh, Firefox install. If you click on that, it also is going to open the same you know box like this, and it's it's, it's going to say downloading Firefox and uh, basically, what the, uh, it's doing at this point is downloading the latest version of Firefox from from the website. Now, there is no add-ons or any kind of gimmicks here. It basically installs the Firefox. There is no like you know the uh, you know selling things add-ons and all those extra ads. This kind of avoids all that and gives you the standard installation. What you know basically Firefox wants you to have. Now, also just to mention while it's installing, uh, we do have this video sponsored by TrueParkings.com, which they do provide you know parking services. So if you're looking for parking services, go ahead and check their website out, www.trueparkings.com. Also, if you have a parking spot available that you're not using, you can also, you know, go and list your parking spot on their website to, run, you know, uh, earn any extra cash that you want. So that's uh, that's message from our sponsors, TrueParkings.com. Now, as you guys can see, you know, Insta Firefox is now installing. So as soon as that gets done, I'll show you what that, uh, you know, what that icon looks like here in a second. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, the Firefox has done installing. Now, on your desktop, you'll see an icon like this that is also a Firefox icon. Uh, so that will be on your desktop as you are seeing. I'm moving that uh, little ball thingy. But 
All right, guys, so once you kind of see that Firefox icon, what we're going to do is now go ahead and click on your start icon one more time. And what we're going to do is try to pin that Firefox, uh, you know, web browser to your taskbar as well as your start screen. So what we're going to do is go ahead and right click on Firefox. And what we're going to do is pin to task. Now, when we when we do that, we're going to see that icon populate right at the bottom of that taskbar. Uh, also, if you if you would like, you know, you can also, you know, pin that uh, to that star, you know, your start screen. I I have already pinned that to my start screen, so I'm not going to do that. But if you would like, but you can pin that here. Uh, but if you want to do that, you can go ahead and click on that. In the meantime, once you click on your start screen one more time, as you guys can see, I already have it pinned here. So you will see that pin here somewhere in the vicinity. And you can also see that on the recently added icons, it's also populated here. So what we're going to do now is going to go ahead and click on that Firefox icon. And that will launch me into the Firefox, the original, the new Firefox that we installed. So what we're going to do is show you guys, you know, we can get to Google and that is actual Firefox icon. Uh, so you can also, what you can do is uh, click on that three tabs and, uh, you know, uh, also if you want to set your, uh, you know, Firefox as your default browser, uh, you can click on this use Firefox as my default. And what is, what that's going to do is open up a, a secondary screen or settings screens where, where you can, you can do that. So it, it's probably going to open a screen like this uh, and where you can you know set your Firefox as your default browser now if, if you if you would like to do that you guys can do that uh, also for verification uh, you know for Firefox you can also go here on those three dots and click on about and that will show you some details but there's no need or there's no reason to show you all that you know that's just waste of time but here 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 comes the Firefox uh, and what we're, we're gonna do is go to google.com here just to show you guys that you know it kind of has in installed itself and uh and it's working as expected so right there you know that's gonna do that um and you guys are going to see that uh, default screen right here. Uh, but basically what we need to do if you guys want to set as a default, once that app opens up, then you can just click on, uh, you know, Firefox and make it default. But other than that, that's all for this video, guys. This video concludes here. Again, if you guys, uh, I appreciate if this video, guys, has helped you. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Also leave your comments down below because it does help users like you if they run into small things or any glitchy things like that. Uh, it, you know, it kind of does help them out. Uh, so if you have any other questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, the link for 98.com also will be in the description. Again, guys, I, I thank you for watching this video and we appreciate all the love and uh, support that you guys give us. Again, thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.